Hello guys welcome back to the channel this is Gopi and in this movie we are going to discuss about Vim setup for C++ programming. If it in case this is the first time you are looking at my video please do consider subscribing my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification. You will get the hell lot of content related to programming and latest to technologies and if you do have any doubts or do let me know in the comment section I will definitely going to help you out. So in this specific movie we are going to discuss about Vim setup for C++ programming. Let's get started. To set up Vim and C++ compiler on your Windows machine, this is where you need to download your Vim. So just go to this URL and just download it. If in case you are using the Linux and uh, Mac, then there won't be any problem. Vim is already installed on your machine. And also G++ compiler is also installed. If it in case of Windows, then go to this link, download this installer. Download it and install on your machine. Once after successful installation, you just have to update the Vim installation path in the environment variable. Apart from this, you need to download MinkW from the source website. I will be giving both of these URL in the description section. This is the same application but I have downloaded and installed on my machine. It is working perfectly fine. And here is the Vim setup for my machine and this is the predefined code I am using for all the C++ programming. So first of all this is nothing but the header files. So this is the most common header files competitive programmers are using. Instead of memorizing all the header files which we need to include in our program we can just refer this file alone. After this using namespace standard so trying to name add this as a standard library because CE in and CE out are present in the standard library. If you haven't mentioned this is at the first line then you need to use std colon colon c in std colon colon c out. So instead of doing those kind of painful things I'm just trying to improve my productivity by initially I mentioned this line. So next is the int main method. We all know that the program starts with the main method. The return type is int. That is why I do have written zero. Here I do have one line called as IOS base sync with studio false. That means we all know that C++ comes from the C. So we can use int of scanf in the C++ program as well. To, I'm just wanted to decouple the C, C from the C++. So that is why I used sync with studio false. And C in C out is also for the same purposes. Okay, the execution time is getting gradually increases. That's why we have done all this stuff. So this is a predefined template. I have already discussed about this template in one of my previous video for the environment setup. And this is for the Vim environment setup. The previous one is not for the Vim. To start typing into this file, just click enter. So, so that you will see that the insert mode. Now you are in insert mode. Now you could able to type whatever the code you wanted to insert. I'm just going to type welcome to the computative programming series. Yeah, I forgot to include computative programming. So then once you done the changes, just press escape, colon, w. w is to save the file. So enter, it actually with this file, the modification you have done was saved. Now it's time to compile the program. To compile the program, press escape, colon, exclamation, g, plus plus, percentage. This percentage actually means the current working file. So press enter and just wait for a while, it will take some time. We could see that the compilation process is successful and without any problem, we have the program got compiled. Here any key to close, they just closed it. Now the compilation was successful, now it's time to execute the program. To execute the program, you have to, you have to type the same command, then press enter and wait for a while, it will print the output. Here you could see that welcome to the competitive programming series. This is what the output. So make sure that you have done everything. If it in case you face any problem while setting up MingW, Vim and uh, something else, then please let me know. I will try to help you out, guys. Till then, thanks and stay tuned for the another video. If it in case you didn't subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming video. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.